Hello YouTubers, this is Joe Bravo and Mo Bravo's Knife Reviews and today we have our unboxing of our new to me CKF um, Rotten Evo 2.0 and it's a badass knife, everybody knows it, everybody loves it and uh, my buddy Ryan gave me a hell of a deal and I'm certainly looking forward to it, wow look at that, let's see if we can take a look titanium uh, scale set comes in a couple different variations they have a dark titanium they have a um, carbon fiber uh, they've got some accents that are uh, zirconium and I believe some Damascus and some Dama steel uh, this is the straight titanium version oh yeah that's nice oh yeah you know I don't typically care for um, thumb stud deployment on a lot of knives you know I don't know you call me a wimp you know my thumbs get eaten up a lot but uh no, that was really nice. Look, at it comes with a nice set of uh, additional hardware, some bearings, in case you want to replace them. They give you a couple of stickers from Russia with knives, CKF. You got your card here. This is number 62-1. Uh, I'm sorry, 62, and it looks like it was uh, released January of 2021. Uh, you know, I, I haven't used the discount code. I probably should have for my... 520 that I've got uh, incoming hopefully in November of uh, 2021 that should be arriving I uh, wish I would have used that uh, code but hey what can you do bowler m390 uh, very nice action oh yeah that's a nice drop shot uh, you know my typical woes of deploying a frame lock uh, the Shira Grodov really 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 uh, spoils me let me grab that so that uh, we could do a small comparison. I just took some photos today of this guy and my Seiko knife. I mean, a Seiko watch. So I got that handy. And uh, I'll move this out of the way. We get an idea of the heft and the size of this guy. You know, I'll tell you what. In the pictures, this thing looked a lot bigger. Uh, my buddies were breaking my stones. They said it was a 7.5 ounce knife. And, you know, that sounds scary. Especially when you look at some of the other knives. Um... You know, uh, I'm going to grab my brown uh, Cortex. You know, this is a sub 3 ounce knife, and I get it. It's a different kind of knife. It's a little less util utilitarian, but, um, you know, there is a sub 3 ounce knife. You've got uh, the Shiro that's probably like 6 ounces. i got to go look at the spec sheet. And you got the CKF, which is a uh, yeah, almost 8 ounces. And, uh, yeah. You know, everybody says it's got a nice action, and they're not lying. Uh, they're not lying at all. I mean, I know the table price on those were, you know, around 600 to $700 range. You know, you look at the table on my F3R, uh, you're talking about $1,000 uh, from Recon 1. You know, they don't even make this guy anymore. And you get that beautiful full drop shutty action. And there's no doubt about it that this is just as smooth Let's see if I could, uh, hey, look at that, I could Spidey Flick now. Again, I got a shout out to Kyle, who's really been helping me with that. And uh, also my buddy Jason. Look at that, look at that, very excited. Let's see how sharp it is. Let me see if I can get a business card over here. And just see, you know. Uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Let's see, make sure I get that on video. Uh, nice and sharp, no doubt that there wouldn't be. I mean, a uh, very interesting blade shape, but I think it's also useful. It's got that real hollow grind that you see here. Uh, you know, real, 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 real thin behind the edge. So I'm very excited for that. Um, you know, a little different than the uh, flat grind of the Shiro. And, uh, you know, very different from the uh, Warncliffe style blade of the Cortex. And then just to get one more out here. Here is the 940, just so you get the whole gamut of different styles of knives that you can compare to this CKF Rotten. I'm trying to think of anything really uh, big and utilitarian. You give me a moment, I'm going to get my sigil out. And, uh, you know, then you can really talk about monster knives and how it compares. You know, the sigil, one of the OGs of being full titanium and uh, a solid performer. And uh, see... You know, you get that Warncliffe style blade versus, I don't know, do they call this a Warncliffe or 
a modified sheep's foot. I'm not sure. They both have that spider hole, so you can spidey flick them. Obviously, the uh, Mark VI is a flipper versus the thumb stud deployment. But, uh, wow. You know, a lot of people were telling me about how the Evo has one hell of an action. They weren't wrong. I'm very glad I was able to get one of these in my hand and get it on the channel and uh, do a comparison video because uh, everybody knows I struggle with the frame locks. Uh, what can you do? Uh, is it a keeper? Is it not a keeper? I'm not sure. I'm probably going to post a comparison video to one of the Ariases that I have coming in from Koenig and uh, you know, maybe I'll see if it is worth that uh, over table price it's commanding on the pages right now. Um, they're going for about eight twenty-five to nine hundred dollars. Uh, the specialty configurations are getting over nine, close to a thousand. So you know, when you talk about that price point, are you looking at buying a knife that is comparable to an Arius? Are you getting that performance or not? And uh, hopefully, with my next video, I will be able to compare and see if it's worth it. So. Thanks for checking out my uh, unboxing video of the CK CKF Rotten Evo 2.0 uh, in titanium. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and uh, make sure to drop a comment so I know some feedback. And uh, I'd like to hear from all of you guys watching the videos. So thank you. Have a great day.